Hello and welcome to the Ask Nachi show. Today we are talking about stories. We are talking about Instagram and Facebook and WhatsApp story ideas. Because uh, stories are usually associated with individual lives. Like you talk about what you ate, where you went for vacation, what you did on the weekend. But when it comes to churches, what do you post? When it comes to ministries, what do you tell people that will keep them engaged on the stories, right? So I'm going to give you seven things. So what works on uh, stories as a content? You ready? Let's Let's go. The first thing is behind the scenes of your own life. So if you're a senior pastor or a minister, uh, you, you have your daily activities, right? You go to office, you prepare, you do stuff. So showcase that. I mean, it's just 15 seconds, maybe two, three stories a day, even one story a day. Just uh, show people what is happening behind the scenes in your life. People will absolutely love it because they start seeing the real you. They start understanding your challenges, your, uh, you know, daily uh, affairs and what you go through and so on so showcase that to people that is number one number two is uh, this is a radical idea so uh, listen carefully give your story access to your kids like your uh, your your church kids or your ministry kids the youngsters the youth group just just ask them to take over your instagram channel you know for a day uh, and just keep keep that rolling maybe twice a week or thrice a week or even you know sometimes uh, during seasons and so on i'll tell you you are going to be surprised at what these kids can come up with i mean they can come up with stuff so you just lay some ground rules tell them this is allowed this is not allowed this is how you do it and just tell them whatever you know you can think of come up with it maybe you can see a couple of samples and what could go wrong i mean if they post something you can always delete it right but uh, just give it to them trust them i mean i'm telling you young young generation they know what they're doing so trust them give it to them see what happens i have seen churches do that and uh, some of the you know like you know tiktok accounts and other things have totally gone uh, viral and it's been a big blessing to others because the way they think is very different so uh, try that second right uh, handing over or uh, take over by your kids in your ministry number three events backstage Right. When you're doing events, like even you do church ministry events, even weekly service preparations, like earlier you used to do on a stage now with lots of people. But now maybe you do it on a stage or maybe you do a recording in house. Show people what's going on there. OK, that is a great uh, content for stories because you can showcase the camera. You can showcase the mistakes that you do, the t- retakes that you had to have, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, that's that's also bringing out the authentic uh, self in you. And people love to see that. Number four is testimonials and stories of people having been blessed by your ministry and what's going on in the lives of your congregation, your donors, uh, you know, get some testimonials from people and say how they have been blessed. If you can get like short testimonials today, people are happy to record, you know, just ask people to pick up their phone, record a couple of minute testimonials or interviews them on Zoom. And then you can take clips of those and put them as stories. So that's number four. Number five, insights and inspirations. Like as a leader, you spend, I'm sure you spend a lot of time preparing and there's Holy Spirit moments. Uh, God reveals some things to you. So share that as an inspiration. Just get on uh, the stories and just for a, just a few seconds, just say that I read, I was reading the scripture and this is what I felt, this is what God told me. And uh, that will be a big blessing to people. And that is an easy thing to do. It's, it's not very complicated. You already having that experience with God and you're just sharing with somebody else. It might be a big blessing to someone who's listening to you. Number six is another announcements have you ever thought of stories as announcing board an announcement board bulletin i mean there is no better uh, uh, tool than that i mean if you can have series of announcement images people love to quickly go through it i mean people might miss it on the news feed they'll miss it on uh, they might miss it on the regular posts but uh, even if it's a video people have to wait for you to go but one by one by one but here as a story it's an image right people can click keep clicking like next service is on this time this is what we're doing next sunday this is what we're doing on the prayer boom 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 people can come back if they want to if they miss something uh, and you can have lots of details on the image so they can look uh, look at it as long as they want then they can delete it or they can just skip it and then later you can save it as a highlight on instagram right you can save it as a highlight so people can always go back it's not vanishing on 24 hours you can uh, save it as an highlight as well so th- that is another th- thing you can try so that way uh, here is another uh, tip okay when you do these announcements and you do it on a regular basis What happens is your congregation, today we are all online, people are in remote locations, your congregation understands that 
you are going to use this as an announcement board and guess what they will constantly look for your stories because they want to know your announcements they want to know your church announcements so they'll follow you they look at you and you will start getting more uh, engagement in the story side as you mix up these seven things and finally the seventh is your um, your feedback or use stories to ask questions Use stories to get feedback or survey people or if you're going to talk about a particular topic and you want to know, should I talk about this topic next week, next month? This is what I'm planning. Get feedback from people and people give quick feedback. Just ask them to like, you know, give a thumbs up or do a poll. Uh, people can answer this, uh, this topic, this verse or this verse. Uh, you know, you want to us to do, you know, um, you know, maybe a, a party or online party or a conversation or a Zoom call. Uh, you know, all that kind of story. Think of questions. Think of polls that you can get your church congregation involved in. So there you have it. Those are the seven uh, stories idea that churches and ministry accounts can uh, comfortably do. And uh, it will also be engaging and will give you a lot of uh, engagement with your audience. If you have any questions, do send it to me on digital and social media for your church and ministry. I'm happy to answer them. I'll see you next week with another answer to another question. Until then, you stay connected, stay blessed and stay very safe. God bless you.